new videos every day. Did you know that Jack in the Box has over 2,100 locations in 18 different states? Well, before we start this video, I want you to go to the bottom and leave a comment and tell me what your favorite food from Jack in the Box is and why. Hi, my name's Jessica and I'm here to tell you the 10 worst foods that you can get from Jack in the Box. So we all know that fries are deep fried in oil just to add that extra fat. Um, you know, fried potatoes date back all the way to the 1680s. Well, speaking of French fries, did you know that a large curly fry from Jack in the Box contains 580 calories? 300 of those calories come from fat. That's 34 grams of fat and 63 grams of carbs. And that's without the meal. So you're on the run and you're really hungry and you have no option but to stop for lunch at a fast food restaurant. So you stop at Jack in the Box and you think, well, I'll get a grilled sandwich and that'll be better than getting anything fried. Well, are you really in the clear? If you get the Deli Trio grilled sandwich from Jack in the Box, you're gonna get 630 calories. That's without the fries and without the drink, just the sandwich. A third of those calories are from fat. That's 29 grams of fat. And then the sodium that you get from that, 2,460 milligrams of sodium. I love bacon, I love cheese fries, so bacon cheddar potato wedges from Jack in the Box, amazing, probably my favorite. And you know, a lot of times you're too, you know, you're running out of time, you don't have time to, the to go to the grocery store, or an apple just doesn't sound that filling. So you run by Jack in the Box just for a quick snack, just a snack and you're gonna get 710 calories, 45 grams of fat and 58 grams of carbs. Okay, so you're at Jack in the Box and you think, what is the healthiest thing on this menu? How about the steak teriyaki bowl? It has rice, steak, and vegetables. How can you go wrong there? Well, it's not necessarily one of the worst things on the menu. We did include it on our list because we need you to know that it has 750 calories, despite how healthy it might sound there's 35 grams of sugar. So you're looking over the menu and you can't decide what you want. You don't want to overindulge in a double cheeseburger. So you decide on a sampler trio. It has two egg rolls, three cheese sticks, and three stuffed jalapenos. You think maybe you're breaking up the calorie intake possibly? Well, not really. You're still gonna get 790 calories, 390 of that's from fat which makes 43 grams, grams of fat and 73 grams of carbs. So you're running late for work, but you've got to stop and get breakfast because it's the most important meal of the day. So you're thinking you need some protein, maybe something easy to eat in the car. Why not get a steak and egg burrito? Well, because it has 820 calories, 50 grams of fat. Now keep in mind, you only need 55 grams of fat throughout your entire day. And you're gonna get half a day's worth of sodium. So, while the burrito sounds bad, what could be worse than this burrito? How about a hearty breakfast bowl? Well, it has the word hearty, so you think that's got to be a good way to kickstart your day and get your heart going? Well, it actually has 850 calories. Almost 600 of those calories are from fat. That's 65 grams of fat and 41 grams of carbs. Not really the best way to start your day. So, while many foods have given you the idea that they're probably healthy, no matter where you get them, such as salads and seafood. Um, I don't recommend always getting seafood from a fast food restaurant, especially fried fish. So if you go to Jack in the Box and you get fish and chips, um, which also comes with a large fry, you're gonna get 940 calories. That's half of the calories that you need in one day, in just one meal. That's gonna be 48 grams of fat and 105 grams of carbs. So don't let names deceive you. Well, you're at Jack in the Box and you want to get the sirloin cheeseburger with bacon. In other words, sirloin might make you think that you're going to get a better burger. Well, not actually. This sirloin cheeseburger with bacon, without the fries, without the drink, just the burger alone, is one of the worst things you can get off of Jack in the Box menu. There's 960 calories and 64 grams of fat. Now remember, you only need 55 grams of fat throughout your entire day. So for those of you who have a sweet tooth, the number one worst thing that you can get on Jack in the Box's menu is their Oreo shake. It's 24 ounces, 1170 calories, 550 of those are from fat. Now imagine you would have taken your time and gone to the grocery store and got Oreo cookies and milk. 
you could have six servings of cookies with a whole, a whole glass of whole milk and still be better off than getting this shake. Well, we've already brought you a video on the top 10 worst foods that you could order out in America. Stay tuned for a future video on the top best foods that you can eat when you're ordering out. Because you know, we're always on the run. You're gonna have to eat out eventually. So let us help you. Well, today's society is very on the go. We gotta have it now, now, now. We have no time to stop and breathe. Um, so we've invented drive-throughs. Well, did you know that drive-throughs are not just limited to food? Stay tuned for a future video where we tell you all about other types of drive-throughs. Well, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't leave you too hungry. Um, be sure to leave any comments you might have, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. If you liked this video, we have hundreds of more alternative videos, ranging from sexual health, to psychology, to mind control. So if you liked it, go ahead and click on me to enter the Psyche Truth channel.